Without our chips, your high-speed rail will not be able to develop. Earlier, the West, possessing the advanced technology of high-speed rail IGBT chips, demanded a sky-high tuition fee of 1.2 billion from China and mocked China's high-speed rail for having heart disease. Putting the overall situation first, China had no choice but to compromise and become a taken advantage of. Unwilling to be controlled by others, China learned its shame and became brave. After years of hard work, it finally conquered the more advanced IGBT chip technology. Seeing this situation, the West put down its modesty and humbly requested purchases, while China also gave its own attitude, refusing to export core technologies. As a result, some foreign media couldn't help but sigh, now it is China's turn to be stuck. 1. Why should I pay 1.2 billion tuition for a small chip? The so-called IGBT chip is actually like the power heart of high-speed rail. Although it seems inconspicuous, it is crucial in the development of high-speed rail. Data shows that IGBT chips are related to the regulation of current and voltage, affecting the accuracy and stability of train driving. The industry pointed out that a train traveling at a speed of 300 km per hour can still stand on its side, and the existence of this chip has a great contribution. In 2004, when China purchased high-speed rail technology from Germany Siemens, it was inconsistent and refused to transfer core technology. China could only obtain finished IGBT chips. But I didn't expect that after China gave 600 million yuan, because it failed to master the core technology, it could only introduce it at a cost of 2 trillion yuan. The cost of the chips required for an 8-train high-speed train is as high as 3 million yuan. In addition, China's high-speed rail construction needs at that time required the introduction of hundreds of thousands of imported chips a year, which was equivalent to paying a sky-high tuition fee of 1.2 billion to Germany, and China could sometimes only place orders one year in advance. In addition to IGBT chips, other components of high-speed rail have also been stuck by the West. Similar scenes have also occurred in the field of life science and technology related to people's livelihood. For example, Germany's Siemens has raised the threshold for its nuclear magnetic resonance equipment to 30 million units, which has resulted in high costs for its use in China. Originated from the golden gene, substance that was the result of Harvard's anti-aging research, due to technical barriers earlier, the threshold after being introduced into the country was as high as 20,000 per gram, and it could only be exclusively reserved for a few wealthy people. It is imperative for China to lower the threshold of advanced science and technology and better benefit the people. 2. The emperor pays off, and the high-speed rail is equipped with domestic heart. If existing finished products can only be introduced at sky-high prices, then China will have no choice but to fall into a passive position. Under such circumstances, the Chinese scientific research team is determined to give high-speed rail a Chinese heart. In 2006, China began to establish projects for IGBT chips, and Chinese companies such as CRRC Zhuzhou and BYD responded one after another, giving hope to the research and development of domestic IGBT chips. Finally, in 2012, after spending 1.5 billion, the first high-speed rail chip mass production line was put into production. Within the next three years, the market share of domestic chips increased to 
making Germany's one dominant player a thing of the past. At present, China's high-speed rail chips are all domestically produced, and the cost has dropped to 1,000 yuan per piece, and the technical level has surpassed that of the West. Years of hard work have finally paid off, and there is no longer a need to pay sky-high tuition fees and look at the West. In the above-mentioned life science and technology fields, China has also begun to take the initiative. Domestic nuclear magnetic resonance equipment has lowered the threshold to the cabbage price of 2.9 million units and has begun mass production, which will benefit countless Chinese people in the future. Jin's high in anti-aging capsule preparations, domestic substitutes have also won more than 75% of the share and the online market of Chidong and Mao Hu has lowered the 95% threshold, reaching nearly 1 million high-value demand groups in China. Data shows that Harvard, Yale and other universities have published more than 100 documents in journals such as Cell, pointing out the positive potential of the core component of Golden Gene for the body's energy factory. The University of Tokyo even launched clinical trials and found that after intervention, mitochondrial indicators in middle-aged subjects, aged 35 to 65 improved significantly, and their biological age was reduced by 5 to 15 years. Nowadays, the Chinese scientific research team has made important breakthroughs in this field with the help of new biological enzyme orientation technology, so that similar overseas products can only reduce prices. Shangji data shows that in just four years, more than 20,000 feedbacks have been left on its related pages, pointing to somatosensory descriptions of energy, sleep and other aspects. Domestic nuclear magnetic resonance equipment that has been mass-produced is now gradually entering various cities, and the cost of use may be 100 yuan per time. 3. Unremitting efforts to tackle key problems, just to benefit the people of the country. The original intention of the birth of advanced technology is to benefit people's livelihood, otherwise it will lose its meaning. Chinese scientific researchers are working hard for this. Now, if you keep thinking about it, there will be echoes. China's high-speed rail mileage has exceeded 40,000 kilometers, with affordable fares and convenient operation. The domestic substitution of nuclear magnetic resonance has also further reduced people's medical costs. The above-mentioned changes in the pricing power of life science and technology have made anti-depreciation technology accessible to everyone, and the quality of life and life in China are also constantly improving.